And there's power in the fact you have a partner supporting you emotionally, if they are. That's why it's called a power couple, right? So I was told, actually, this is the, the ironic part, and I want to say this as a mind shift. When I first started coaching, I was just like, I, I had a one-year-old and a four-year-old, okay? I was already separated. I was in New York City. It was a hustle. And actually, to this day, I try to figure out how I got through that. I can't even like remember how I, like how, and people at the time were saying, how do you do that? I'm like, oh, I just do it. But I look back now, my life is like a vacation every day now, literally. It's like a vacation. Some people say you're working hard now. I'm like, you have no idea. Yeah. I don't work hard. I work just well. I love it. Um, I remember I had a first coach and I, I'd done like a group thing and we'd get on these things. She was nice. And she actually said, without thinking that I was on that call, because she knew I was a newly solo parent. She goes, well, you know, you know, people that don't have a spouse or a partner, it's really hard for them to become successful. And I remember thinking, I can't believe you just said that, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought, no, it's, I thought, no, it's not. Sure. It is easier to have a power couple thing. She literally said that. And then I think she realized I was on that call and thought, uh oh, what did I just say? And I thought, how could you say that? And I thought that is not true. And I'm going to prove to you because studies have shown that it's easier to be, it's true. Studies have shown it is easier to become successful if you're in a good relationship where there's support. There's power together in numbers. There is. Yeah. I just thought I'm going to do it. So no, I had a handicap. Let's be real. I had a handicap. Mm -hmm. you did. I did. Mm -hmm. But you, it, but you, you did something that a lot of women in your position might not have done. And that was, you joined a group. I joined I mean, lots even, of groups. Even though she was, even though she was, uh, she misspoke. Yes. During that meeting, you still yes. were there in a group with other women. I was in a group with other people. And with by the people. way, anybody else, the power of suggestion is so strong. I had to go and clean my mind after hearing that. Yeah. I thought, whoa, I have to go now. It wasn't, it wasn't a gift for me. I had to go and think, no, that I don't believe that. Let's just wash your mind. That was suggested to my subconscious and my conscious right there. Studies have shown. I'm like, well, okay, well, uh, studies are going to show me being successful, lady. Yeah. You know, and I had no money then. I didn't know what I was doing. She was literally helping me get my website up. That's the very beginning. It was literally wow. the beginning stages of my business. And she did give me feedback on my banner on my website. That's how beginner I was, okay? Wow. I was not, I thought, oh my gosh, how could she say that? And I thought, that's just, okay, well, I'm, okay, thank you. It's going to be harder, but what, you, what do you suggest? I go find another person? No, that's not going to happen. So I need to make this. So I believe it does not matter. There's all sorts of other things and studies and blah, blah, blah. You know, we got to stop making excuses for where we are. It's going to work if you want it to work, no matter what. That's what I believe, right? We are in the middle of a very volatile political, political year across the globe. Lots of things going yes. on in politics. And this is what I know about truth. What is true for me might not be true for you. Yes. And what is true for you might not be true for, for me, but they're both true. Exactly. And the thing is this, this is the other thing that's very true. And this, you're going to laugh. This is where, how far my mindset is. People are starting to murmur online. Oh, nobody's paying high ticket anymore. Well, I don't see that as truth. I see that as not true yeah. because people do pay me high ticket because I'm a high ticket coach. And one person was trying to convince me, oh, you better change it to low ticket. I said, why would I do that? Like it, it why would I do that lady? But then she tried to make me pay her high ticket because she thinks the high ticket doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. There's illogic going on there, right? Yeah. But then after she said that I started getting more higher ticket clients than I've ever gotten in my whole career ever during whatever is going on. I don't listen to that. Oh, the politics. We know if you look at trends, there's always going to be a recession every few years. There's going to be a bubble bursting. If you don't look at history of the last few years and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't know what to say really. It's just people making excuses because they don't want to do what it takes to be successful. I'm sorry. So, that's what I think. I network online mm -hmm. a lot. And the financial planner in my BNI chapter, he likes to explain over and over again that during the third quarter of the four-year presidential cycle, that is usually when the market is the lowest. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we are in the third quarter of the yes. fourth year of the yes. presidential cycle. So, of course, the market's going to be weird this. I mean, it's doing really, really, really well this year. But over the last hundred years, it's exactly. this has traditionally been a very poor time. 
for the market, which means it's a great time to buy stock. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. If you buy the right stock, you know, if, you buy the right if, stock. You, if, 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 yeah. if, if, but, if, you know, it's funny, all the financial, if you have, a, if you have the right advisor. Well, the thing is this, you, if you know about looking into past trends, it's just a cycle. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to get all upset, because there is a, there's a cycle in everything with our bodies, with the sun, with the moon, with seasons, with everything, there's cycles. But if people just want to like see it, that every day is going to be the same, no matter what, I don't know what to say. It's just not smart, yeah. but I don't care about cycles because I'm me. I create my own cycles. Like I created the, my own success against a lot of odds. Yeah. So when you get to that level where there's zero excuses, I have a zero excuse life. There's reasons why I couldn't do something if I get sick. That's a reason. It's not an excuse, right? Or, or a reason if I'm doing something, but there's no excuses. I make zero excuses. When you get to a zero excuse life, those trends don't even matter anymore because you are zigging when everybody else is zagging and that's what you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Do the opposite of what you think other people want you to do. That's how, I, uh, that's how I've always looked at life. Okay, so you said something a little bit ago. You talked about how you tuned out the mind clutter. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? 